Hello guys, this is the Hexagon Zero, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. But Hex, how did you do this magical, mystical mist over yourself? In life, I was but a speaker for the Black Hand, but you have been named Listener. There is no higher honor. Yeah, this guy. I can't get rid of him. But anyway, this episode is all about the Black Reach. We are in the Tower of Mazark, and by the way, you don't need the Attunement Sphere once you've gotten into the Tower of Mazark, and you can just take this elevator My down to the Black Reach. Da 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 da! Easy peasy. So, um, what was I gonna say? I can't remember. We're gonna be doing the Black Reach, and we're gonna be doing all of it. As in, we go everywhere in the Black Reach. But, as we know, the Black Reach is one of the most dangerous places in the entirety of Skyrim. So we are going to be doing it quietly. And carefully. I sure hope there isn't like a giant fish in these waters. Doesn't look like it. And then Mr. Spectral Assassiny dude is just gonna have to keep up. Cause I ain't waiting. No, oh, he's really slow in his pathfinding. So I wanna check out this camp first. He'll swim across over there. Maybe onto this island. Mr. Assassin, you do to slow. <laughs> They're probably all inside of their tents. Wow. Well, got rid of Mr. Ghosty Butt. <laughs> Shit. And it's a Shadow Master. It's a dead Shadow Master. Eh. Mr. Ghosty's now dead. One hit. One hit. Maybe he was weakened from his battle with the orc, but... One hit from a Thalmer Night Prowler. And that's how you know the Black Reach is dangerous. Okay? why we're staying perfectly quiet. Well, it kind of sucks now that we don't have a guy to follow us around and be cannon fodder. I kind of miss him. Because for all of his stupidity, he was kind of powerful. Oh, and... It's probably like attract everyone in the vicinity, but... Geode veins? Watch this. Give you soul gems. Good ones, too. Sometimes. Except the noise will attract people who want to kill you. So, remember to, um, Stay quiet. Otherwise, well, you get hit by Chorus Reaper Spit and a whole bunch of other stuff, which isn't exactly the best. This one gave me ore. Corundum. That 
That was a geode vein that gave me Corona more. Weird. If this one gives me geode stuff. No? Okay. kind of hard to see with all this stuff floating. I think it's kind of inspired by the deep ocean because in the deep ocean there is essentially sea rain surface rain and what it is is just particles of matter that are falling from very 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 far above So yeah, those particles fall from far, far above, and I think that's kind of what has inspired, inspired this atmosphere. I'm also going to be grabbing as many crimson thingamajiggers as I can. And I will be exploring everything and potentially killing a lot of things. Something's gonna come out of there and there. Oh, it's a dwarven sphere. Master. enemies can be alerted by that, so... I'm not gonna do that there. I want to get as many as I can because they're kind of uh, cool, but this is Thalmer territory. I think we'll be heading back and going in the proper way. And also there's a waterfall right there, so I can't actually go in that way. Anyway, the next thing we're going to check out is that... From building from two episodes ago. Uh, big giant thing. Where we got the Thalmer blood. Because it's got that... It reminds me of a old Disney film called Atlantis and it's actually been appearing on a lot of websites lately saying that it was an under under known and underappreciated Disney movie no Atlantis had one of the biggest box hits well actually it was kind of medium box hits but it was it was a pretty good hit so I don't know what they're smoking, but it was it was a good movie. It had McDonald's toys and everything. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, da 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 da. da. Uh, maybe it will keep everyone dead in there, but I don't know. And I also know there's a giant over here. Actually, yeah, I am gonna go in that way.
This place is magically creepy. still dead. Oh. No, everybody is. Nice. I don't have to deal with any pesky Dahmer. Because there were guards on rooftops and stuff like that. Never found me though. Anyway, yeah, this is the vantage point that I wanted, because I don't think the giant can get up here. There he is. He just kind of wanders back and forth in this pathway, but this pathway looks... Well, maybe he can get up there, but that's enough time to sink at least three hours into him. I'll deal with him later. First, I want to check out these rooms. It's a bench. Okay. Another bench. Oh, we get a door. Doors are nice. Doors let you see inside of things. What are these? Oh, just mushrooms. Not herbs. Black reach mushrooms. Do 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 do. I love this bow. It does 107 base damage, plus the arrow damage, plus 45 shock damage, and then continual tickle damage. I call it tickle damage. Sounds... Sounds cool. Okay, that's weird. Tracking me because his head programming tells it to track, but dead. He's just stuck in that position. Someone there? Nope. No one here. Anyway, Atlantis. Um, I'm going to spoil a bit of the um, movie here. Anyway, there is a... Ooh, moonstone circle. Yeah. There is a giant floating thing that's called the Heart of Atlantis, and it's supposedly what's been keeping them alive all these years. Because Atlantis sunk a long, long time ago. Maybe that lever opens the gate. Um... Yeah. It sunk a long, long time ago, so... And it's still the same people it sunk with. There haven't really been any childbirths. So the heart of Atlantis is supposedly what's keeping them alive this long. This is 
why I say quietly. It just opens up onto a separate tower or something. Um. So yeah, it, it's essentially a big glowing ball in the sky, and that kind of interested me. And it reminded me of... Yeah. Does this go up? It opens to the black beach. Mm. What? Comes a near and root to my right. Giant orby thing. What was that? <laughs> Shit. Tongue guy. Oh, stupid arrow auto target. When they're paralyzed, their actual auto targeting is a little bit off. I can get human flesh and a human heart off this... Potion potential. I'm not a cannibal. <laughs> Although, technically I'm a dark elf, so it wouldn't be cannibalism. 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 What kind of view this gets me? Be crappy one. Let's go find out! Uh, no, I think there's another doorway onto the upper ramparts in here, so I'm gonna head back into Mr. Elevator here. And there's also this. Gold sapphire. And there's also this guy, which I kind of... Oh, I deluded. <sighs> Just in case I missed anybody on the upper ramparts. I don't think so, though. There's Mr. Giant. Interesting. Kind of wonder what it is. It looks kind of like a sun. But obviously, if it was a sun, everything here would be melting very, very fast. Even if it was that small of a sun, like, there wouldn't be any rocks. There would be the melted puddle of rocks. Because, kids, a sun is very, very... Ah! bright. And if it's bright, then it's painful. Oh, another place to explore. Debate hall. Alright. I thought my bow there was a thalmer for a second. It scared me. I'm like, holy crap, there's one right there. <laughs> How many targets we can get? Oh, just one. What was that? Stupid paralyzing effect.
that unnerves me. This. What was that? <laughs> I just got an arrow in him already. I'm too stealthy. Nobody reacts anymore. Like, I was so stealthy there that I was able to fire off two arrows right next to a Thalmer, and he didn't even know I was there. Too stealthy. Yeah, what's up? The Black Ridge. Here, if I can. I'm skipping a jump up here. No, we can't. Okay. <sighs> door, what do you do? Door. Black Ridge, okay. Please tell me this takes me. Hi. Nowhere interesting. Okay. Debate hall was just filled with enemies. Nothing. Not even a chest, I think. I'm gonna set up here. Pumping what? Oh, and she slid. Okay. Uh, black reach? Yep. Actually, you don't see many of these. All this Dwemer stuff is? Pumps? For fluid? Oh, this is just getting better and better. We haven't even done half the Black Reach yet. I'm gonna pop right up on the stairs. Yep. Oh, come on! Shot in the butt. Looks like someone just activated a trap.
<laughs> nice butt. Shaman's Key. First I thought it was his name, now I realize it's something different. Palmer ear now. Red on radar. My brain is telling me. Chorus are coming soon. <laughs> I was curious. Times when you wish you were an Argorian. Argorian? Angorian? I don't know. He fell for that, really? They're just pressure plates. be a tripwire and then that'll really get me. <laughs> There's a gap. Great. Actually let's go back one more just in case it misses. It missed. Atmosphere here is very unsettling. This opens the black reach. <laughs> oh, hello. I have no idea where we are. I think we're out back. Interesting. Uh. Let's head to the back corner. 
I'm not gonna mine any geode. Because I know there are Thalmer skulking about. Alright, now I know where I am. I'm behind the uh, big heart thing. Those mushrooms look awesome. Oh, glitching. Yes, I remember the Thalmer here, don't worry. There he is. Oh, I know where I am. Shit! <gasps> and that killed it! Damn! <laughs> okay. Uh... Where's the big heart thing? There it is! Damn, the black creature screwing with my sense of direction. Where are those things? They look like ice spirits. But anyway, that's where we first came in. Over there. That's the thing that held the giant, um, thing. The guardian or whatever. There's the course reaper. If we go through there, we get to where we just came down. This place really... Actually, no. If we get over there, that's where we just came down. Yeah, somewhere over there in the distance, because that's the... Oh, this place is really screwing with my sense of direction. No. I'm pretty sure these things are hostile. And there's three of them, and that poses an even bigger problem. Yep, they're ice spirits. Garden something. That looks interesting. Looks like a crap ton of spiders. There too. Done in no time. Oh, 30. Holy crap. Okay. Be done in a little bit more than no time. And I've got a little bit more back at the house. At least I think I do. I might have eaten it all. <laughs> I just wanted to figure out what it did. So I sampled. This waterfall. Nah. It's not often that they pull that trick more than once. Hiding stuff behind waterfalls, I mean. I mean it's really popular in Pokemon games. And I say that um, because I've, like, uh, I don't even remember anymore. When I played Pokemon, you guys were still in diapers. Long time ago. Shelob.